With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. We are the Skinner Brothers. Most folks only need a lawyer once or twice in their lives. And when they're injured or in an accident, most people don't know what to do. We get it, it can be overwhelming. Nobody likes to be told, you need a lawyer. But that's why we're here. We wanna get you back to your normal life and help you recover. So if you or loved one has been in an accident, give us a call. Let us figure out how we can get you compensation. Reach us at SkinnerWins.com or Google Skinner Lawyers. We'll treat you like family. The Palace Lounge in Martinsburg is the place to be. Join us every night to relax and enjoy football or basketball games featuring either the Martinsburg Bulldogs, Shepherd University Rams, or West Virginia Mountaineers. We will have steak night every Wednesday, trip nights every Thursday, and now taco and margarita nights every Tuesday. You can find us on Facebook or call 304-267-7520. The Palace Lounge is located at 1350 Edwin Miller Boulevard in Martinsburg. At Carter Myers Automotive, what we do today will tomorrow become what we've done. That's why Owners Just Do More no longer defines us. Our work is never done because what we live by doesn't have a finish line. We care. Our company of owners is moving lives forward every day by finding more ways to care before, during, and after your purchase. Because when you're happy, so are we. Carter Myers Automotive. Proud to be the owners who just care more. The following is a special sports broadcast presentation of Talk Radio WRNR Martinsburg. Play ball! It's time for the fun and excitement of West Virginia high school baseball. Today's game is being brought to you by Parsons Ford, Brock's, the Heffley Motor Company, the Wagner Law Firm, Farmers and Mechanics Insurance Companies, the Marius Group of Ameriprise Financial Advisors, the Skinner Law Firm, the Browns Funeral Home and Cremations, Robert Fields and Sons, Orsini's, Carter Myers Automotive, Century 21 Modern Realty Results, the Palace Lounge, Cody's Auto Body, WVU Medicine, Berkeley and Jefferson Medical Centers, Hagerstown Ford, the Berkeley County Health Department, Small and Small Insurance, Mother Shuckers, L.A. Roberts Jewelers, the Dutch Miller Auto Group, and the Mansion Freddie Law Firm. And now for the pregame show, let's go out to the field and join our talk radio WRNR broadcast team. Good evening from Charlotte Prather Park for West Virginia High School EPAC Softball and Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10 between the Hedgesville Eagles and Martinsburg Bulldogs. Colin McLaughlin here as we welcome you in to the Skinner Law pregame show brought to you by Skinner Accident Injury Lawyers representing accident injury claims for over 50 years. Go to SkinnerWins.com alongside me on the call, my partner today, Dylan Bishop. Dylan, how are you doing? I'm happy to be here, ready for some softball. Our cameraman is Aiden Sensible. Back at the studio is Nick Verzellini. Things might possibly be uh, getting started earlier than scheduled. First pitch scheduled for 7 p.m., but lineup cards currently already being exchanged amongst team captains and coaches for Hedgesville and Martinsburg. So we're going to go straight into our coaches' interviews now, brought to you by Parsons Ford at 1400 Shepherdstown Road and online at ParsonsFord.com. They became number one by making you number one first, Parsons. Now joined by the head coach of the Martinsburg Lady Bulldogs, Rob Jones. Coach Jones, new year for you and your program. Just tell us a little bit about how the season's gone so far. Uh, this season's going a lot better than the last couple seasons we've had. We've got more positive attitudes. Um, the girls are coming together. We started back in November, uh, starting in the weight room with them and getting stronger and conditioned. And uh, this year is coming out quicker, and, and they're coming out better and more focused. With that being said, what are some other things that you've really seen them grow in from uh, years past and girls that have stepped up within the program as well? 
I gotta say, my two seniors that I have this year, Maya Jackson and Abby Hannon, um, they have been with me since my freshman year, their freshman year, and uh, they stuck. They came up to par and and been good leaderships um, this year, and, and everybody's following their lead, and it's, it's it's been a positive year so far this year, and we've gotten some wins underneath our belt, and of course you know that helps our morale and and everything like that. What are some of the goals that you put into place for the program this year? Um, I put in place, hopefully, last year was not a good, great year at all. I, I wanted positive attitude, and I wanted a positive look of how we play our games and prepare for our games, more or less. And uh, hopefully that came out, and we did accomplish that. We got some wins, like I said. Um, that was another goal. I wanted to get more wins than we've had. And uh, we're, we're going down that same road. We're, we're getting more wins this year than we did, of course, last year. Today you guys take on Hedgesville. What do you hope to see from your team today? Um, just come out, do what they can do, and play like the, I know they can play, and they know how they can play. Um, I want to get on top, hopefully, on Hedgesville. This team is, if we get on top, we can hang in on top. We're better getting on top than it is coming behind. Um, mentality and, and, and stuff like that. So we're hoping we get on top of Hedgesville tonight and uh, keep it going. All right, Coach, thank you for the time. Best of luck. Thank you. Have a good day. Now joined by the coach of the Hedgesville Eagles, Randy Shade. Coach Shade, first time we get to see your team for Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Just tell us a little bit about how the uh, season's gone so far for you guys. Well, right now we're 5-12. and 12. Uh, The first game of the season at Musselman, we lost two of our starters out to season injury uh, to, uh, ACLs. And currently we have one young lady who just got out of the hospital today from having surgery. So... Our numbers have been down, and uh, we're moving people around different positions, and it's just been an adjustment as we went through the season here. And with those adjustments, who are some people that have really uh, stepped up to help make the program as good as it's been so far, though? Well, our main pitcher we've been going to, and we're resting her tonight, is Becca Fox. Uh, she's done most of our starting because it gives us our best defensive lineup. And uh, a couple games against Jefferson, uh, the one game in our tournament, it went four and a half innings. She held Jefferson to two runs. And the other night when we played, she held Jefferson to uh, four runs through three innings. And Jefferson right now is the uh, number three team in the state. Uh, Maggie Boyer, she's kind of our spark plug. The leads all. She'll be pitching the night four. She's usually an outfielder. And from there, it's just been a mixture of people. And we just asked them to get up there and do the best they can. And the last couple of weeks, with everything changing here, we just concentrated on the girls having fun and seeing where we can move people and still be competitive at it. Today you guys take on Martinsburg. What are you hoping to see from your team in this game? I hope we come out with a good effort and uh, hit the ball. Uh, I think defensively we've been improving over the last couple of weeks. Uh, the biggest thing is we got to hit and run and, and play ball. Uh, we just came off a 10-game losing streak uh, up in Moorfield this past weekend at a tournament. Uh, we beat Frankfurt. And then we uh, came back and lost to Moorfield, and then we lost to Jefferson. So we're trying to turn around this week. Um, tomorrow night, Senior Night Force at Berkeley Springs, and we're going to another tournament this weekend. So we're trying to build uh, leading up to the sectionals in two weeks. All right. Thank you, Coach, for the time, and best of luck today. Thank you very much. That was our coach's interviews brought to you by Parsons Ford at 1400 Shepherd Sound Road and online at ParsonsFord.com. They became number one by making you number one first. Parsons, as the national anthem, is concluding here at Charlotte Prather Park. We'll keep things here and continue with the Skinner Law pregame show and get into today's starting lineups brought to you by Trips Flooring. Not sure where to go or who to trust with your flooring needs? Call Trips Flooring at 304-229-7009 or online at tripsfloorsanding.com. First for the visiting Hedgesville Eagles, leading off and pitching number two, Maggie Boyer, batting second, the designated player number nine, Bryn Miller, batting third, third baseman number 11, Mila Ortega, batting cleanup at first base number 14, Becca Fox, batting fifth in left field number eight, Caleb Burns, batting sixth at second base number 10, Rihanna Hamlin, batting seventh, the catcher number 12, Kaylee Shade, batting 8th at shortstop, number 5, Taryn Payne, batting ninth, right field, number 1, Isabel Pounds. Center field will be number 4, Topanga Beard for Hedgesville. For Martinsburg, leading off in left field, number 2 is Powell. 
Batting second and catching is Kellican. Batting third, second base, number 10, Williams. Batting fourth at third base, number 16, Jackson. Batting fifth and pitching, number six, Rogers. Batting sixth in center field, number three is Hannon. Batting seventh at first base, number 20, Dozier. Batting eighth in right field, number 14 is Menifee. And batting ninth, shortstop, number nine, M Moyer. So that is the starting lineups as we get ready for the top of the first inning. Top of the first inning brought to you by Brown Funeral Home and Cremations, Robert Fields and Sons, probably serving our area since 1880. First pitch called strike one as we are underway. 0-1 count against Boyer. First pitch is brought to you by Marius Group and Ameriprise Financial Advisors, John Everson and Phil McCoy. Call them today at 304-263-4343 or stop by 1270 Winchester Avenue in Martinsburg. The 0-1 pitch from Rogers to Boyer misses high. Count now 1-1. One one. Starting battery for Martinsburg. Pitching is Rogers. Catching is Kellican. Starting battery is brought to you by Cody's Auto Body at 851 Wilson Street in Martinsburg. Call them at 304-901-4777 or visit their Facebook page as the next pitch misses for ball two. Only one other game in the EPAC going on today. It's the EPAC Roundup brought to you by Rocks Local Markets as the 2-1 pitch misses inside for ball three. Fast, fresh, friendly Rocks. The one other game going on is Jefferson at Musselman. That game has been in action since 6 o'clock first pitch for the Cougars and the Appleman try to get a score update for that one is the 3-1 pitch to Boyer she checks swings and did go around says the home plate umpire so count full at three and two Let's see here right now it looks like it is four to one between Jefferson and Musselman in the middle of the fourth as the 3-2 pitch fouled off by Boyer to Jefferson with that three-run lead. And the last thing we got to cross off our sponsor list here is the weather. 69 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Weather brought to you by CMA's Martinsburg and Winchester dealerships. Proud to be the owners who just care more. Did I forget anything, Dylan? I don't think so. I don't believe you did. 3-2 pitch popped up in the infield. Calling off the pitcher is the first baseman, Kamara Dozier, and she makes the catch for the first out. Yeah, pretty nice weather out here so far today. We kind of thought that there was going to be some rain in the forecast, but I think we lucked out. Yeah, wasn't sure how things were going to be after uh, this morning having a little bit of a storm here in Martinsburg as the first pitch to Miller from Rogers is high for ball one. But got told this afternoon, uh, even with a passing shower that the game was still going as scheduled. So here we are. This pitch called a strike. Count now even to Miller at one and one. It's been kind of a weird season for Hedgesville so far. They lost Gracie Brown right at the beginning of the season, and they've had to change coaches in the middle of the year. So you know, maybe their record isn't what it was going to be. They started four and zero. That pitch goes in for a strike. Count now one and two to Miller. But I think this could be an opportunity for them to get back on track. One two pitch from Rogers is lined foul down the third baseline and out of play, keeping the count at one and two. It's Miller being cheered on by her teammates in the dugout as the ball gets retrieved and given to the home plate umpire and a new one given already to Madison Rogers. Rogers snips on the rubber in the middle of the pitcher's circle. It's a 1-2 count with one out. Pitch grounded over to the shortstop. Moyer picks it up, throws to Dozier at first for out number two to retire Miller. So two up, two down for Hedgesville in the Top of the first, still scoreless between the Eagles and the Bulldogs of Martinsburg. It's up to the bat now for Hedgesville is Ortega. Good start out in the field for, for Martinsburg. 
first pitch from Rogers upstairs to Ortega for ball one. Ortega's been the, the driving force of Hedgesville's offense so far this year, hitting 432, five home runs, 20, uh, 28 RBIs. By far the leader of the team. She sends this one high and deep into left field. Looking up is Powell. And it's a solo homer for Ortega in the top of the first to lead things off for Hedgesville and take an early 1-0 lead. Oh, yeah, make it six on the year. That's, that's big time power right there. That's why she bats third in the lineup, everyone. Right. It, it's a shame that uh, they got the first two outs there. That she wasn't able to drive anyone else in. But I was telling you, Colin, before, before when we were off the air, looking at the Orioles' stats so far this year, Ryan O'Hearn having four home runs but only six RBIs, a lot of solo home runs. So... This one's a line drive into left field, and it's down for a base hit by Fox. Fox rounds first, booking her way to second base. The throw gets past the cutoff man, and it's a double for Fox on the first pitch of her at bat. They're able to get some soft contact to start things out in the first two batters, but the three and four hitters making a Big time impact for Hedgesville with two outs. Now up to bat for Hedgesville is Burns, and she swings at the first pitch. It's a hard ground ball to the shortstop. Moore picks it up, throws it to Dozier at first to end the inning. Not before, though, one run for Hedgesville on two hits. No errors, one left on base. The end of the top of the first, it's Hedgesville one. Martinsburg, nothing will step aside, take a one minute break. This is West Virginia High School Softball and Talk Radio, WRNR, and TV 10. Burke, Schultz, Harmon, and Jenkinson, where accident, injury, and disability lawyers with over 120 years combined local trial experience. When injury or illness has stopped you from working, you may be eligible for Social Security disability. Ron Harmon has been winning disability claims for over a quarter of a century. Don't hire some out-of-state firm. Ron Harmon's in Martinsburg. He will meet with you right here in our office. Get a local lawyer you can trust. Call 304-LAWYERS for a free consultation. 304-LAWYERS or 304-263-0900. My kids, you know I want the best for you, don't you? We need to have a conversation. End-of-life planning is no one's favorite discussion, but the relief of having everything in place when the hour of need arrives is a gift. Give it to your family. Plan ahead with us. Brown Funeral Homes, a leading provider of cremations, invites you to explore the many flexible options of cremation. From environmental considerations to the benefit of greatly reduced cost, it may be the perfect answer for your family. Online at brownfuneralhomeswv.com. Brown Funeral Homes, here for you. Welcome you back to Charlotte Prather Park as we head to the bottom of the first inning, which is brought to you by Orsini's Home Store, not just an appliance store any longer. Visit them at 360 Hack Wilson Way in Martinsburg or online at Orsini's.com. For Hedgesville, they lead Martinsburg 1-0 after the Ortega solo home run to left field to get things started for the Eagles. It's now Martinsburg's time to try and respond here in the bottom of the first against Maggie Boyer on the mound for Hedgesville today. See what they're able to do. Uh, Boyer hitting at the top of the lineup and then going out as the pitcher. Have to bring up their pitching stats because they've uh, they've got some up here on Max Press. Maggie Boyer leads leads the team in earn run average. First pitch low to Ava Powell for ball one. Powell steps back into the right-handed box, leadoff batter for Martinsburg. Here against Maggie Boyer, Boyer's 1-0 pitch, swung on and missed, even up the count at one apiece. Boyer's 2-1 in the circle so far this year. One complete game of two games that she's started, made 12 appearances. Powell fouls off the next pitch, the count 1-2 and two is that... Heads over the fence behind home plate and ricochets off the concession stand behind us to our right just slightly. Count one and two now to Powell. It's Boyer's one-two pitch. Breaking ball just inside. Count now even at two and two as that one just didn't break in enough for the punch out. 
Couldn't quite fit it in there. Boyer grabs some dirt, wipes it off, grabs the ball. Now the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss from Powell for strike three and out number one here in the bottom of the first. Was able to blow that one by her. That's a good fastball. Good. Now start things out. Up to bat is Haley Kellican for Martinsburg. She'll step into the box against Maggie Boyer of Hedgesville. Hedgesville won. Martinsburg nothing's the score. It's the first pitch just below the knees to Kellican for ball one. Kellican's hitting 200 on the season so far. And 41 plate appearances, 30 at-bats. Pitch from Boyer. Taken by Kellican for strike. One ball, one strike, one out, nobody on for Martinsburg. Kellican back into the box with the big swing and a miss here at this pitch. Count now one and two. That was a little high there. She knew it as soon as as soon as she did it. Looked back at the dugout and gave a, a smile and a gesture at the dugout. Like, yeah, I know what I did. One, two pitch. Change up that stays high. Count now two apiece. Calican. Oh man, that one it almost almost got its way into the into the strike zone. Two two pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. So back to back strike strikeouts. Oh, okay. oh strike three. Yeah. Scoreboard had it wrong. There you go. She stayed up she stayed up there for a second. I don't think she, I think she also thought it was strike two, oh. looking at the scoreboard. I know the Martinsburg Bulldog did as well because of the scoreboard there, dugout, chanting that it was 3-1 when in right. fact it was 2-2 as the pitch now swung on and missed to Williams, who's off the bat for Martinsburg, that being Elijah Williams. So. 349 on the season so far. Next pitch, swing and a miss, strike two is... Maggie Boyer one strike away from striking out the side here in the bottom of the first inning. Williams is uh, tied for the team lead in doubles with six so far this year. Second in RBIs with eight, or excuse me, third. 0-2 pitch from Boyer misses high. Count one and two to Williams. Malaysia Williams off the bat. Trying to get a two-out rally going for Martinsburg. 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Three up, three down on strikeouts goes Martinsburg in the bottom of the first. It's Hedgesville one, Martinsburg nothing. We'll head to the second on the other side of this one-minute break. This is West Virginia High School Softball and Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. I do. I do. We got double the Rock's gas reward, six cents off a gallon. I can't believe you didn't fill up. That's double my rent. Not my car. Hey, Save now with double the gas discount. Six cents off a gallon with Rocks Rewards. We got double the Rocks gas rewards. Six cents off a gallon. You had one job! It's twin girls. Save now with double the gas discount. Six cents off a gallon with Rocks Rewards. Burke Schultz, Harmon, and Jenkinson. Where accident, injury, and disability lawyers with over 120 years combined local trial experience. When injury or illness has stopped you from working, you may be eligible for Social Security disability. Ron Harmon has been winning disability claims for over a quarter of a century. Don't hire some out-of-state firm. Ron Harmon's in Martinsburg. He will meet with you right here in our office. Get a local lawyer you can trust. Call 304-LAWYERS for a free consultation. 304-LAWYERS or 304-263-0900. We welcome you back here as we enter the top of the second inning, which is brought to you by the Hefley Motor Company, located at 993 Hedgesville Road in Martinsburg, a nice place to do business. Hedgesville 1, Martinsburg nothing the score here in EPAC softball. Due up for Hedgesville, Hamlin, Shade, Payne, the six, seven, eight batters in the Eagles lineup. Colin McLaughlin here for Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Alongside me is Dylan Bishop, Aiden Sensible, our cameraman. Back in the studio is Nick Verzellini. Madison Rogers back in the pitcher circle for Martinsburg, yes. Catcher Haley Kellican 
goes behind home plate and squats down to get started for the top of the second. Pitch to Hamlin. Shall I go by? It's low for ball one. According to Max Press, Rogers has made seven appearances on the circle so far this year. One and two with a 7.35 ERA. Good for second best. 1-0 pitch. Inside for ball two to Hamlin. Second best on the team. Should specify. Hamlin a junior for Hedgesville. 2-0 count to her. The delivery from Rogers. Called a strike. The count two and one. Rogers leads the team, excuse me, second on the team in the innings pitch so far this year, 26 and two-thirds. You know the least amount of walks, though. Hasn't walked anybody so far today. It's only the fourth batter she's faced, and it's a grounder right back up the middle. It's a leadoff single for Hedgesville to start off this top of the second inning from Hamlin. They were able to make contact in the first inning. The first two batters, it ended up being soft contact. That was pretty soft, too, but it found its way up the middle. Let's see if Rogers can you know, get that back on track, or if Hedgesville can make more solid contact as this game goes along. Taylor Shade up the bat for Hedgesville with the runner on first and nobody out in the top of the second. First pitch from Rogers misses low for ball one to Shade. Shade the catcher for Hedgesville in the right-handed box. Pitch from Rogers. Sent the opposite way and down the first baseline it drops and goes past Menifee in right field. Rounding first, heading to second is Shade. Going over to third is Hamlin and it's a double. Four shade to put runners in scoring position early in the top of the second for Hedgesville. It's a much better start to this inning. Shade was hitting 300 coming into that at bat. It's her first double of the year, it looks like. That'll bring up Payne for Hedgesville. The shortstop for the Lady Eagles. The pitch from Rogers. Foul tipped off the face mask of Kellican for strike one. Payne, a junior as well for Hedgesville. She steps back into the box with the 0-1 count. Pitch from Rogers. It's a fly ball to left center field. Running down and making the catch is Hannon, the center fielder. Tagging up and coming home to score is Hamlin. The throw to third, not in time to get shade out. It's a sack fly to give Hedgesville a 2-0 lead over Martinsburg here in the top of the second inning. That's good hitting right there. No, didn't get on base, but long fly ball with a runner on third base. That gets you an RBI. Now up the bat is Isabel Pounds, says the pitch from Rogers. Foul tipped by Pounds. Is swinging early there on that pitch. Strike one. Well, when you've been making as much contact as Hedgesville has so far, it makes you more likely to go up there and say, I'm probably going to get a pitch I can hit every time. Pitch from Rogers is chopped wow. and popped up into shallow center, and it's down for a base hit, and that's going to score shade. Hedgesville now leads 3-0 in the top of the second inning. And when I mean chopped, I mean chopped. That was not a swing <laughs> that you typically see at all, and even she's giggling over to her dugout as... It's not what I don't I, know how to really describe it. I, that's not really what I meant by getting a pitch you can hit every time, but that's the kind of thing that there's a swing and a miss in the first pitch of this at-bat. Uh, I describe it as, a, I don't know, Vlad, Vladimir Guerrero senior <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <ask>. yeah. <laughs> He'd swing at anything. It's the first pitch to Boyer was... A strike, the second one high for a ball, so one and one count to Maggie Boyer. One out, runner on first for Hedgesville. They now lead Martinsburg 3 nothing. It's Madison Rogers. Pitch to Boyer. It's a line drive to right center field. It's down and rolling to the fence. Boyer hustling around first, headed to second. 
Going to third is Pounds. And again, two runners in scoring position here in the top of the second for Hedgesville, threatening to add on to its early 3-0 lead against Martinsburg. The making contact. That's, you know, especially at the high school level, that's really the main thing that you want to be able to do because you assume that there's going to be some defensive mistakes. You assume that you're going to make some of your own on the other side as well, but you just try to limit them. But if you can get contact on the ball, a lot of times it'll find it'll find grass. Sixth hit today for Hedgesville. Fourth extra base hit today as well as the first pitch to Miller from Rogers. Misses four, ball one. Next pitch. Misses for ball two. Put and Miller on first. You have Ortega on deck, and she's already at a home run, Dylan. We, we had the same thought there. That's the sentence I was about to start. We had to see... Ortega on deck. 2-0 pitch. Grounded over to the shortstop. Throw home. Not in time. Sliding in safely is Pounds. The fielder's choice results in a 4-0 lead now for Hedgesville. So Ortega's going to get runners on the corners with one out. So she's able to repeat what she did the first time up. She'll get to drive in some runs and you know, not be like Ryan O'Hearn, like I, like I said, her first time up. So 4 nothing, top of the second. One out, runners on the corners. Pitch to Ortega. She lets go by. It's high for a ball. Miller will take second on the catcher's indifference. So runners on second and third now for Hedgesville. Good position to be in. Pitch to Ortega, and she sends this high in the left field. Should be playable. Ava Powell looks up, makes the catch for the out. Throw to third, not in time, and it's another sacrifice fly as tagging up and coming home to score as Boyer to increase Hedgesville's lead now to five nothing at the top of the second on Hedges or on Martinsburg. Excuse me, is Hedgesville got. Probably just a little too underneath it on that swing for that to find its way all the way over the fence. Pitch now to Fox. It's fouled off and lands on top of a trash can next to the concession stand for strike one. It eventually rolled off, but would have been impressive if it somehow stuck the landing. Style points for that, right? Would have been, yeah. A Ten from the East German judge. <laughs> Good one. Proud of you. Thank you. Fox had a double last time up, so another dangerous hitter in the Hedgesville lineup. A one count with two outs, the pitch from Rogers. Lined in between shortstop and third, and ricocheting off Ava Power, the left fielder, and going to the fence. One run already scored, and that will be another double for Fox, who... Does the little celebration there, Tuesday, Tuesday, on second base. <laughs> What's up, brother? You know, uh, Powell kind of lost the ball there for a second out in left field. It went by her, and then uh, she didn't really – you see her looking around if you're watching on TV 10 for a second. She had to go back and find it. It was rolling to the wall. Oh, first pitch from Rogers to Burns is a strike as Burns, the ninth batter up the bat here this inning for – Hedgesville, who leads 6 nothing now over Martinsburg in the top of the second with two outs. Pop up now in the infield. Dozier calls off the second baseman, Williams, makes the catch, and that will end the inning. So we end to the bottom of the second. It is Hedgesville on top of Martinsburg, 6 to nothing. This is West Virginia High School Softball and Talk Radio, WR and RNTV 10. We're back in one minute. Life is evolving. Over the past decade, the way we do almost everything has changed. Get on your phone, see something you like, click on it, and it shows up at your door. Why should the way you have your car serviced be any different? Why waste your time going to a dealership service department when Hager Sound Ford and Hancock Chevrolet will come to you? They service all makes, all models, and offer full parts and labor warranties. Hager Sound Ford and Hancock Chevrolet will come to your door or office and service your vehicle while you're doing what you need to be doing, conducting that business meeting or mowing the lawn. Why take time out of your busy 
reschedule when you don't have to. Hagerstown Ford and Hancock Chevrolet's friendly, knowledgeable staff will come to you where you live or where you work for full service maintenance from oil changes to tire rotations, brakes, batteries, multi-point inspections. They handle it all. Hagerstown Ford and Hancock Chevrolet is committed to delivering the best of the best to their customers. Trust them to service your vehicle where you're at, at home or at work. Skip the time-consuming and terminal wait at the dealership. Schedule your appointment at FordofHagerstown.com or HancockChevy.com. We're back as we head to the bottom of the second inning, brought to you by the Berkeley County Health Department. Prevent, promote, protect, offering public, clinical, and environmental services at 122 Waverly Court in Martinsburg. Hedgesville 6, Martinsburg nothing is the score here in West Virginia High School EPAC softball action. Due up for Martinsburg. Four, five, six batters, Jackson, Rogers, Hannon against Maggie Boyer, who in the top of the first inning forced Martinsburg to go three up, three down on three strikeouts all via swinging. Maya Jackson, first pitch, low in the dirt from Maggie Boyer for ball one. Well, her, her offense has certainly given her a lot of run support, so she can come up here feeling comfortable in the circle. 1-0 pitch. Ooh. High for ball two to Jackson. That's some good velocity on that one. Couldn't quite get it low enough. Two balls, no strikes to the leadoff batter of the bottom of the second. It's the pitch. Caught a strike to Jackson. Count now 2-1. and one. Jackson hitting in the cleanup spot has been the best hitter so far this year for for Martinsburg. She swings through the 2-1 pitch. Counting out 2-2. Two two. Only player with a home run for the Bulldogs so far this year has two of them. Also 13 RBIs to lead the way. 2-2 two -two pitch. Change up that cuts inside and hits the backside of Jackson. She'll make her way over to first to lead things off in the bottom of the second to bring up Rogers. Pitcher versus pitcher. Boyer tries to clear her mind after that last one. First pitch. Rogers inside for a ball. Boyer back on the rubber in the circle. Pitch. Caught a strike to even up the count now at one and one. Couldn't catch the inside black with the first pitch, but was able to go pretty much the same pitch, same location, and got it in the zone that time. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a miss from Rogers. The count now one and two. Maggie Boyer goes to the back of the pitcher circle like her typical routine. Picks up some dirt, right, wipes it on her pants, then grabs the ball in her glove. Delivers the pitch and called strike three. Down goes Rogers for out number one in the bottom of the second. The fourth strikeout of the night for Maggie Boyer. Four outs, four strikeouts. So the op sort of the opposite of how things are going for, for Rogers up on the mound for, for the bull or in the circle for the Bulldogs. Contact versus strikeouts. Now at the bat's hand, and she squares to bunt, misses it. Runner goes, throw down from Shade, gets the runner, and Jackson for out number two. It's a good throw from behind the plate. Kaylee Shade, and that well, that's big. You give up, give up that leadoff hit by pitch, put the runner on, and just like that, you get to clear the bases. Get the second out. So no balls, one strike. Base is cleared now and two out as this one foul tip. Diving for it. Find home plate is Shade, but she's not able to extend far enough to get it. Count now 0-2, though, to Hannon. That would have been a spectacular scene of events to end the inning it would have been. by Kaylee Shade. Boyer, 
taking her time to allow Shade to get set. The 0-2 pitch in the dirt. Count now 1-2 and two to Hannon. Abigail Hannon, senior, one of the two for this Martinsburg team. It's 6-0, Hedgesville on top of Martinsburg in the bottom of the second. 1-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Down goes Hannon, and again, three up, three down goes Martinsburg. We head to the third inning after this one-minute break. This is West Virginia High School Softball and Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Life is evolving. Over the past decade, the way we do almost everything has changed. Get on your phone, see something you like, click on it, and it shows up at your door. Why should the way you have your car serviced be any different? Why waste your time going to a dealership service department when Hager Sound Ford and Hancock Chevrolet will come to you? They service all makes, all models, and offer full parts and labor warranties. Hager Sound Ford and Hancock Chevrolet will come to your door or office and service your vehicle while you're doing what you need to be doing, conducting that business meeting or mowing the lawn. Why take time out of your busy schedule when you don't have to? Hagerstown Ford and Hancock Chevrolet's friendly, knowledgeable staff will come to you where you live or where you work for full service maintenance. From oil changes to tire rotations, brakes, batteries, multi-point inspections, they handle it all. Hagerstown Ford and Hancock Chevrolet is committed to delivering the best of the best to their customers. Trust them to service your vehicle where you're at, at home or at work. Skip the time-consuming and terminal wait at the dealership. Schedule your appointment at FordofHagerstown.com or HancockChevy.com. Charlotte Prather Park. The score, Hedgesville 6. Martinsburg, nothing in our high school softball matchup. Top of the third inning is brought to you by the Dutch Miller Automotive Group, home of friends and family pricing. Six, seven, eight batters. Amlin, Shade, Payne do up again here to start off this inning for Hedgesville as they hit around in that five-run bottom of the second. Right, um, that was an impressive uh, second inning for the Eagles. So, see what they can if they can keep it up here in the third. Yep, five runs on five hits in that second inning. Added on to the one run off two hits in the first to give them the. 6 nothing lead. Hamlin singled and later came home to score. First time up in the bottom of the second. Steps into the right-handed box here against Madison Rogers to start off the third. She'll let the first pitch go by. It's high for ball one. Things starting to cool down a little bit as the Sun's been blocked from some clouds in the sky as this one sent into right field and past the glove of Sophia Menifee. The right fielder rolls to the wall, heading to second, rounding second, now going three is Hamlin. And it's a leadoff triple for Hamlin to begin the top of the third for Hedgesville. It's another strong start. That's kind of what I mentioned last, last inning about just get some contact on the ball. And you know, what could have maybe been a single turns into a triple. Shade now up to the bat. First pitch, called a strike. Shade doubled her last time up. Later came home to score. Pitch from Rogers to Shade. Misses outside the count now, one and one. As the ball goes over the head of the pitcher, but cut down by the second baseman, Williams, and that saves a run. That one almost went into center field. and Right, Hamlin started to make her way home, but thought better of it. Probably the right decision. Yep. Count one and one, the pitch, the shade. Big swing and a miss for strike two. A big cut through that one. A little, little off speed. Threw her off, I think. Maddie Rogers back on the rubber. The 1 2 pitch. Just fouled off the bat by Shade to stay alive. Tough count remains 1 and 2. Runner on third. Nobody out. Top of the third. Hedgesville 6. Martinsburg nothing. 
Pitch from Rogers. Popped up and heading towards us, Dylan. Get ready, make the catch. Savannah Bananas out. I trusted you, Dylan. You're getting the round of applause from a few now. I see why they wear mitts, Colin. <laughs> I heard one. Better you than me, then. <laughs> 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 Dylan's made the team, everybody. I'll play in center. One, two, pitch, high, count two and two. Wherever you need me. I don't know if you could have made the out, though, through the fence. That would be more impressive. It would have been, yeah. One, two, pitch in the dirt. And it hit Shade. Shall Shade will head over to first. Runners on the corners now for Hedgesville with nobody out in the top of the third. Brings up Payne for Hedgesville. Should have asked to keep it as a souvenir. Right? They, they, they need it more than I do. <laughs> have a timeout now for Martinsburg's infield as they meet in the pitcher's circle. Top of the third inning, it is Hedgesville 6, Martinsburg nothing. Hedgesville threatening once again here in the top of the third. Throwners on first and third and nobody out. Payne already with an RBI today as well. It was a sacrifice fly in the bottom of the second. Right, Rogers kind of you know losing control in that last... Last at bat there, throwing some uh, pitch or two in the dirt. And she's been keeping it roughly in the zone, but it's been to where Hedgesville's been able to make contact. So if she's doing that and walking, that uh, would not be good. Pitch, caught a strike to Payne. Runner from first goes to second. They throw to the shortstop, Moyer, to try to Trick the runner at third in Hamlin, but Martinsburg unsuccessful in that attempt. As this one now, fly ball to right center field. Tracking it down, making the catch is the right fielder, Menifee. Tagging up the score is Hamlin for the seventh run for Hedgesville. Shade goes from second to third. It's one out, 7 nothing lead now for Hedgesville over Martinsburg. I wasn't... That wasn't the most routine play in the world. Going to your, uh, going from to your right as a as a right-handed thrower, make that catch kind of across your body, saves a run. Isabel pounds, fouls off the first pitch for a strike. Pounds an RBI single her last time up and. Later came home to score in that bottom of the second inning for Hedgesville. Pitch from Matty Rogers. Fouled down the third baseline and over towards the Martinsburg dugout. 0-2 count now to Pounds. This would be a good recovery from Rogers if she's able to strand that runner on third. Already has one out. As Rogers sets with the 0-2 count to Pounds, the pitch. It's a grounded down the first baseline and fair. One run will score, and it's another RBI single for Pounds to extend Hedgesville's lead 8 to nothing here against Martinsburg. They're pretty much right down the line. That would have been a tough play for, for Dozier to make over at first. And just a, a nice piece of hitting, driving in a run. Hedgesville now heads to the top of its lineup. Maggie Boyer up the bat. Boyer run, one for two. She pops up this one, running in on it to the right fielder. Unable to get there. Boyer now goes to second. Great heads up base running as the ball was slowly brought into the infield. So, Boyer goes to second. Pounds goes to third. Still one out in this top of the third inning. That's a shame. Menifee saved a run earlier with the first out of the inning, but then, you know, kind of evening things out. Not giving up a run, but giving up a couple bases. Now I'm meeting with Martinsburg's head coach, 
Rob Jones going out to meet with the infield. Again, Hedgesville 8, Martinsburg nothing is the score in this top of the third inning. An EPAC softball. Boyer on second. Pounds on third for Hedgesville. Up the bat will be the designated player in Bryn Miller. Miller and both of her at bats is grounded over to the shortstop, Moyer. First one was an out, the second one was a RBI fielder's choice. Maddie Rogers ready to go for Martinsburg. Pitch to Miller. Outside misses for ball one. Just first base open. Infield brought in a little bit in case he needs to throw it home. 1 0 pitch. Lined foul. Out of play. The count 1 and 1. It was the exact same situation Miller found herself in in the last at bat. Runners on second and third. She had the RBI ground out. Well, with only one out, she would have the opportunity to potentially do the same thing. And it's a soft grounder, this time to the third baseman. Throw across the diamond, gets by the glove of Dozier and over to the fence. Two runs will score. It's 10 nothing now, Hedgesville on top of Martinsburg in the top of the third. Again, you make contact on the ball, sometimes you're going to end up with some, with some bases, hits, runs that you wouldn't have expect, perhaps expected, even if it's soft contact. And that's another example there. Hedgesville this time on a throwing error. Now up to bat is the dangerous Ortega. Pitch high to Ortega from Rogers for ball one. Milo Ortega back in the right-handed box against Rogers. Already has a home run today coming in the first. It's pitched low past the glove of Kelican. And going to third on the pass ball is Miller. The count 2-0 and to Ortega now. Still only one out in this top of the third inning. Maddie Rogers steps back on the rubber in the pitcher circle. The 2-0 pitch high for ball three to Ortega. It seems like right now she's just trying to pitch around Ortega. Yeah, got to pitch cautiously to Ortega. So. See if she has the green light here on the 3-0 count. So with the runner on third. 3-0 delivery, lined off the glove of the shortstop, Maya Jackson. She throws home, and it's way off the line, and the runner comes home to score, and Miller and going to second is Ortega. Tough play there by Maya Jackson. That one, a bullet right to her. She made the right decision to throw home and try to get the runner, but unfortunately, throw just off the money. Yeah, kind of bailed out the runner there. I don't think... Uh, it shouldn't have been, it was, or it wasn't going to be if the throw was on, on target. It wasn't going to be anywhere close to uh, enough time to slide in safe at home. So 11 nothing Hedgesville leads against Martinsburg now. With runner on second, one out, top of the third inning. Up to bat is Fox, first pitch, missing inside for ball one. It's Rogers. Pitches to Fox, and Fox sends a line drive to left field. It's down for a base hit. Ortega rounds third and will score easily. It's an RBI single by Fox. Hedgesville now has a dozen here at Charlotte Prather in the top of the third against Martinsburg. They had six coming into the inning. Now they've been able to throw up six on the board so far in this one. After the five run second inning. And this is the heart of the order. It's not it's not getting any easier. Burns up to bat. First pitch from Rogers. Taken by Burns for a strike. Again, Burns the ninth batter up to bat this inning for Hedgesville. Pitch. At the knees. Taken by Burns for strike two from Rogers. It was Burns that ended the second inning with the third out, and if they don't get themselves a double play, that's not going to be even the case in this inning. 
It's a pitch from Rogers to Burns high. Count one and two. Burns 0 for 2 today. Only one, I believe, so far for Hedgesville to not reach base. This pitch high. Count now even at 2 and 2 to Burns from Rogers. Runner on first is Fox. After her RBI single to make it 12 0 Hedgesville over Martinsburg here in this top of the third inning. Pitch from Rogers. The fly ball to center field and right to the center fielder, Abigail Hannon. She makes the catch for out number two. That, that was a very well-hit ball, but just happened to be right at the at the center fielder. That's why sometimes it's it's not about how hard you hit it, it's where you hit it. It's him where they ain't, right? I thought it was, it's no matter how hard you hit, it's how hard you get hit and keep going. That's boxing. <laughs> this is softball. <laughs> Hopefully they don't intermingle today. It's the first pitch to Hamlin. Called a strike. Of course, metaphorically speaking, how hard you get hit when we get him back up. That's, that applies to any sport, always. Pitch from Rogers. Called strike two to Hamlin. No balls, two strikes, two outs, runner on first. Martinsburg trying to end this top of the third inning. Already given up six runs to Hedgesville, doubling the Eagles' lead to 12 0. This is a line drive to right center field, and it's down and rolls to the fence. Hamlin has a stand up double. It's going to third. Is Fox on the hit? It's this third inning. Will continue for Hedgesville. Now Hamlin is just a home run away. From the cycle. That looks like pitching we're going to have a pitching change as a result of that one. We'll step aside, take a 30 second break for the pitching change. Our score Hedgesville 12, Martinsburg nothing here in the top of the third. This is West Virginia High School Softball and Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Burke Schultz, Harmon, and Jenkinson, where accident, injury, and disability lawyers with over 120 years combined local trial experience. When injury or illness has stopped you from working, you may be eligible for Social Security disability. Ron Harmon has been winning disability claims for over a quarter of a century. Don't hire some out-of-state firm. Ron Harmon's in Martinsburg. He will meet with you right here in our office. Get a local lawyer you can trust. Call 304-LAWYERS for a free consultation. 304-LAWYERS or 304-263-0900. We welcome you back here to Charlotte Prather Park for West Virginia High School Softball and Talk Radio WRNR and TV, TV 10 as we have a pitching change brought to you by Smallwood and Small Insurance in Martinsburg, your total insurance solution at 121 Administrative Drive in Martinsburg. Call them today at 304-263-3361. Now in the circle doing the pitching for Martinsburg, number 11, Sierra Bowen. Colin McLaughlin here for Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Alongside me is Dylan Bishop. Aiden Sensibles, our cameraman back in the studio, is Nick Verzellini. Off the bat for Hedgesville is Shade. First batter that Bowen will see, and it's a grounder in between shortstop and third. Down for a base hit RBI single by Shade. Make it 13-0 Hedgesville as coming home to score on the hit was Fox. Two outs runners on the corners as Hamlin advanced over to third. That'll bring up Payne for Hedgesville. Bowen. Pitch to Payne. High for a ball as taking second on the catcher's indifference with two outs will be Shade. Runners on second and third with two outs in the top of the third for Hedgesville. Just got to get one out to get out of the inning. Pitch. There you go. It's a high fly ball down the first baseline, and it drops in fair territory and then rolls foul. One run scores. Two runs score. Going to second. Throw goes past and into left field, but staying put at second is Payne, and it's now 15 to nothing. 
Hedgesville leads Martinsburg in the top of the third inning as the floodgates have opened for the Eagles. Well, man, off the bat, that seemed like one you could have been able to get to and grab that third out. But it, it did really just drop in probably the, the, one, the one spot that, that Menifee wasn't going to be able to get to. Up the bat now is Pounds. First pitch from Bowen high for a ball. Well, now we've reached the point where Martinsburg's going to have to score a run in the bottom of the inning to keep themselves alive, keep the game going. This is a soft grounder back to the pitcher. Bowen, her throw to first will end this long top of third inning. And as you just heard from Dylan, it's 15 nothing, which means Martinsburg's down to its Final three outs to avoid mercy rule unless they can tack on at least one run. We'll see what happens on the other side of this one-minute break. This is West Virginia High School Softball on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. When you are looking for the perfect gift, look no further than L.A. Roberts Jewelers at 146 North Queen Street in downtown Martinsburg. Choose from a huge selection of unique items from the finest diamonds that make your eyes sparkle to exquisite timepieces, figurines, and collectibles. Buying from L.A. Roberts Jewelers means that you've made the decision to do business with people who've excelled in the industry for more than 100 years. They'll be here tomorrow when you need them, and if you need your jewelry or your watch repaired, they'll do that too. L.A. Roberts in downtown Martinsburg. Old world jewelers for a new age. At the Berkeley County Health Department, our motto is Prevent, Promote, Protect. Since 1935, our mission has been to provide clinical and environmental services to protect the health of the general public. We're committed to building public health in our community by offering a wide range of services, including blood pressure screening, breast and cervical screening, family planning, counseling, lab testing, and more. We perform health inspections to make sure the restaurants you visit are clean, and we prepare and coordinate plans to respond to all hazards. The Berkeley County Health Department, 122 Waverly Court, Martinsburg. We welcome you back as we head to the bottom of the third inning, brought to you by the team at Century 21 Modern Realty Results. If you're looking for a home in the tri-state area, they have you covered. Hedgesville 15, Martinsburg nothing is the score. Martinsburg will send its bottom of the lineup up to the plate. Dozier, Menifee, and Moyer try to at least get one run. Otherwise, the day is done. Yeah, we'll see what they can do. They haven't been able to get a whole lot off of off of Boyer at all. It was just the hit by pitch in the second inning. Mm -hmm. That's the only time that Martinsburg has reached base, and that was Jackson who was then caught stealing second. So first pitch fouled off by Dozier for strike one to start off this bottom of the third. Dozier hitting 222 so far this year. Eight hits and 36 at bats. Four RBIs, one double. Pitch from Boyer to Dozier, high. Count now one and one. Dozier steps back into the box on the right handed batter side, the 1 1 pitch. Called strike two as Dozier lets it go by, so count now one and two against her. It's Maggie Boyer trying to get strikeout number six on the day. Pitch, swing and a miss. There it is, the sixth punch out of the night for Maggie Boyer and out number one in the bottom of the third. She's been dealing. They have not been able to figure it out. I mean, this is still the first time through the lineup. For, for the Bulldogs. So they haven't been able to get these multiple, multiple at bats to try to figure it out. Up the bats, Menifee. Pitch from Boyer, swing and a miss for strike one. <clears throat> Next pitch. Grounder to the shortstop, Payne throw to first for out number two. Decent contact there by Menifee, just unlike Hedgesville today, didn't hit it where they're not. Right, yep, Payne made a good throw over to first. Okay, way to put it in play. So now Martinsburg, Martinsburg down to its final out. Yep. Big swing and a miss to strike one for Moyer. 
It's Muir at the plate. Muir, excuse me. Thank you, you Dylan. Can, uh, she can get on base. You're back at the top of the top of the order. Even though they all struck out the first time around. It's their, be their second chance. Muir swings through the next one. Count 0-2 is now Martinsburg down to its final strike. Is Maggie Boyer bringing the heat so far in the pitcher circle. 0-2 pitch. Change up. Swing and a miss. And Maggie Boyer strikes out another Martinsburg Bulldog to end a fantastic night in the pitcher circle for her. Seven strikeouts, nine batters faced, and that's the ball game. Final score, Hedgesville, 15, Martinsburg, nothing in a three-inning mercy rule victory. Martinsburg now falls to three and 16 on the year. Hedgesville improves to 6 and 12. We'll step aside, take a two minute break, then be back for our post game show. This is West Virginia High School Softball and Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. At the Berkeley County Health Department, our motto is prevent, promote, protect. Since 1935, our mission has been to provide clinical and environmental services to protect the health of the general public. We're committed to building public health in our community by offering a wide range of services, including blood pressure screening, breast and cervical screening, family planning, counseling, lab testing, and more. We perform health inspections to make sure the restaurants you visit are clean, and we prepare and coordinate plans to respond to all hazards. The Berkeley County Health Department, 122 Waverly Court, Martinsburg. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. After a car accident, what do you get when you call Mansion Ferretti? You get more experience from a local law firm with over 115 years of combined service. More respect from a team who treats clients like their own family. And more fight because we want you to get every dollar you deserve. Experience, respect, results. If you've been injured, that's what you want in your lawyer. And that's what you'll get when you call us. Car accident? Get more with Mansion Ferretti. 304-264-8505. We are the Skinner Brothers. Most folks only need a lawyer once or twice in their lives. And when they're injured or in an accident, most people don't know what to do. We get it. It can be overwhelming. Nobody likes to be told, you need a lawyer. But that's why we're here. We want to get you back to your normal life and help you recover. So if you or a loved one has been in an accident, give us a call. Let us figure out how we can get you compensation. Reach us at SkinnerWins.com or Google Skinner Lawyers. We'll treat you like family. We welcome you back here to Charlotte Prather Park. Final score in this softball game, Hedgesville 15, Martinsburg nothing as we welcome you into the Palace Lounge postgame show brought to you by the Palace Lounge on Edwin Miller Boulevard in Martinsburg with a full lunch and dinner menu, daily specials, and a clean, comfortable atmosphere. Check out the menu on the Palace Lounge Facebook page. Colin McLaughlin here for Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. Alongside me is Dylan Bishop. Our cameraman's Aiden Sensible. Back to the studio is Nick Verzellini as we get into the game summary now brought to you by the Mansion Ferretti Law Firm in Martinsburg where it's about seeking justice for you. Go to wvjusticelawyers.com. Top of the first inning, Hedgesville was able to score one run thanks to a solo home run by Ortega, one of two Hits that inning for Hedgesville. And then they added on five more runs in the top of the second after forcing Martinsburg to go three up, three down. Those five runs coming on five hits. And then in the third is when the floodgates opened for the Lady Eagles. Nine runs on seven hits and two Martinsburg errors. And that gave the Eagles win number six on the year, improving to 6 and 12, 15 to nothing, three inning mercy rule victory over Martinsburg. Martinsburg falls to 3 and 16. Game stats brought to you by Hagerstown Ford. Revolutionize the car buying experience. Visit them online at fordofhagerstown.com. 
Hedgesville, 15 runs, 14 hits, no errors, three left on base. Martinsburg, no runs, no hits, two errors, nobody left on base. Winning pitcher Maggie Boyer facing the nine batters, seven strikeouts for her to lead the way for Hedgesville. Had the hit by pitch, but got that out off the caught stealing. The other non-strikeout put out was Menifee, who grounded out to shortstop. So let's wrap things up with our player of the game, brought to you by WVU Medicine, Berkeley, and Jefferson Medical Centers, leading healthcare here and everywhere. Dylan, who you giving player of the game to? I think i got to give it to Boyer because of the pitching and was able to you know, add on a couple doubles up at the plate. And, you know, Hedgesville doesn't win this game in three innings unless Boyer goes up there and pitches the gem that she did. So I think it's got to go with her. There you go. That'll wrap things up here at Charlotte Prather Park for Nick Verzellini, Aiden Sensiball, Dylan Bishop. I'm Colin McLaughlin signing off again. Our final score, Hedgesville 15, Martinsburg nothing, a three-inning mercy rule win. This has been West Virginia High School Softball and Talk Radio WRNR and TV10. Have a good night, everybody. I do. I do. We got double the Rock's gas rewards, six cents off a gallon. I can't believe you didn't fill up. That's double my rent. Not my car. Bye. Save now with double the gas discount, six cents off a gallon with Rock's rewards. We got double the Rock's gas rewards, six cents off a gallon. You had one job. It's twin girls. <laughs> Save now with double the gas discount. Six cents off a gallon with Rocks Rewards. Burke Schultz, Harmon, and Jenkinson, where accident, injury, and disability lawyers with over 120 years combined local trial experience. When injury or illness has stopped you from working, you may be eligible for Social Security disability. Ron Harmon has been winning disability claims for over a quarter of a century. Don't hire some out-of-state firm. Ron Harmon's in Martinsburg. He will meet with you right here in our office. Get a local lawyer you can trust. Call 304-LAWYERS for a free consultation. 304-LAWYERS or 304-263-0900. Providing reliable protection since 1877, we are Farmers and Mechanic Insurance Companies. For over a century, we have been dedicated to provide dependable insurance protection and excellent customer service. We specialize in auto, home, farm, and business insurance. Our products are backed with personal, hands-on service. You can trust us to protect what matters most to you. For all of your insurance needs, there's Farmers and Mechanics Insurance Companies. At Carter Myers Automotive, what we do today will tomorrow become what we've done. That's why Owners Just Do More no longer defines us. Our work is never done because what we live by doesn't have a finish line. We care. Our company of owners is moving lives forward every day by finding more ways to care before, during, and after your purchase. Because when you're happy, so are we. Carter Myers Automotive. Proud to be the owners who just care more. The Palace Lounge in Martinsburg is the place to be. Join us every night to relax and enjoy football or basketball games featuring either the Martinsburg Bulldogs, Shepherd University Rams, or West Virginia Mountaineers. We will have steak night every Wednesday, trip nights every Thursday, and now taco and margarita nights every Tuesday. You can find us on Facebook or call 304-267-7520. The Palace Lounge is located at 1350 Edwin Miller Boulevard in Martinsburg. My kids, you know I want the best for you, don't you? We need to have a conversation. End-of-life planning is no one's favorite discussion, but the relief of having everything in place when the hour of need arrives is a gift. Give it to your family. Plan ahead with us. Brown Funeral Homes, a leading provider of cremations, invites you to explore the many flexible options of cremation. From environmental considerations to the benefit of greatly reduced cost, it may be the perfect answer for your family. Online at brownfuneralhomeswv.com. Brown Funeral Homes, here for you. You've been listening to West Virginia High School Baseball. Today's game broadcast has been brought to you by Parsons Ford, Brock's, the Heffley Motor Company, the Wagner Law Firm, Farmers and Mechanics Insurance Companies, the Marius Group of Ameriprise Financial Advisors, the Skinner Law Firm, the Browns Funeral Home and Cremations, Robert Fields and Sons, Orsini's, Carter Myers Automotive, Century 21 Modern Realty Results, The Palace Lounge, Cody's Auto Body, WVU Medicine, Berkeley and Jefferson Medical Centers, Hagerstown Ford, The Berkeley County Health Department, 
Smallwood and Small Insurance, Mother Shuckers, L.A. Roberts Jewelers, the Dutch Miller Auto Group, and the Mansion Freddie Law Firm. For the continued excitement of high school, college, and Major League Baseball, keep it tuned to FM 106.5, AM 740, Comcast Cable Channel 10, and online talkradio.wrnr.com. All rights reserved.